Next is the board hyper cycle. What is the board hyper cycle? It is actual a method in which we can correlate the lattice enthalpy of an ionic solids with the other thermodynamics data. So this cycle is a method in which we can correlate we can correlate the or we can compare the correlate the lattice enthalpy lattice enthalpy that is u naught of an ionic crystal of an ionic crystals with other thermodynamic data the other thermodynamic data means the enthalpy of sublimation ionization enthalpy electron affinity enthalpy of formation etc so let's start the born haber cycle for the sodium chloride as you know that the sodium chloride can be prepared from the sodium metal and chlorine gas in our natural condition the sodium metal is present as a solid and this chlorine is present as a gas so by using these two constituenting particle we can prepare the sodium chloride solid or i can say one mole of the sodium chloride solid we know very well that when one mole of a solid is formed from its constituenting particle and this constituenting particle other than gaseous ion then the amount of energy released is called as enthalpy of formation so first of all we have to convert the sodium solid into gas state so the amount of energy that converts the sodium directly into or solid directly into its gaseous atom this amount of energy is called as enthalpy of sublimation and this value is always positive similarly we need one cl negative and here we are having two cl so we have to dissociate this cl2 so the amount of energy required to dissociate a molecule into its gaseous atom this amount of energy is called as dissociation enthalpy and the value of dissociation enthalpy is also positive because energy is required to dissociate the molecule into atoms here we need one cl and in this case two cl is formed so this dissociation enthalpy is for two cl but we need one cl so we have to we have to reduce this dissociation enthalpy for one cl so it is divided by two half when a uh, metal is present in the gaseous state the amount of energy required to remove its electron to form a gaseous cation this amount of energy is called as ionization enthalpy and we know very well this ionization enthalpy is also positive here we are having one cl because it is reduced to 1 by 2 the amount of energy required the amount of energy released when an gaseous isolated atom this one electron is removed from this na gaseous atom this electron goes to this cl negative and to form cl negative this electron goes to this cl which is present in the gaseous state and to form cl negative when an gaseous atom accept the incoming electron during this the amount of energy released is called as electron affinity and electron affinity value is negative so when a gaseous cation and gaseous anion is formed this gaseous cation and this gas is anion combined together to form one mole of the ionic solid because one mole of ionic solid is formed and the constituenting particles or cation and anion are present in the gaseous state during this the amount of energy released is called as lattice enthalpy so this is the born haber cycle for nacl for this this enthalpy of formation del hf enthalpy of formation is equal to the enthalpy of sublimation plus enthalpy of ionization plus dissociation enthalpy 1 by 2 d plus electron affinity plus lattice enthalpy so we are interesting to determine the 
lattice enthalpy for any ionic compound so this del hf formation equal to say is tarf aayega this will become minus enthalpy of sublimation minus enthalpy of ionization minus 1 by 2 enthalpy of dissociation minus is a jayega minus enthalpy of electron affinity that will become equal to the lattice enthalpy of the ionic NaCl solid let's study one uh, numerical based on the lattice enthalpy uh, of born of a cycle calculate the lattice enthalpy lattice enthalpy means you know to we have to calculate of NaCl crystal crystal are solid from the following data the enthalpy of sublimation is this all these enthalpy are given in the kilojoule per mole the enthalpy of dissociation given the enthalpy of ionization electron affinity and enthalpy of formation so as we know that for for nacl crystal the born haber cycle calculation is lattice enthalpy that is u not is equal to enthalpy of formation minus enthalpy of sublimation minus 1 by 2 enthalpy of dissociation minus ionization enthalpy and minus electron affinity if we will put we will put the value of all these u not that is equal to enthalpy of formation is minus 414.2 minus enthalpy of sublimation enthalpy of sublimation is 108.7 minus 1 by 2 the enthalpy of dissociation is that is 225.9 minus the ionization enthalpy is 489.5 minus the electron affinity value is minus 351.4 all these are in kilojoule per mole so u not is equal to u not on calculation we will get minus 773.95 kilojoule per mole